Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and I figured my second video would be a fall-inspired makeup look. Um, this is for my soft yet glamorous ladies out there that want a little oosh, but nothing too crazy or dramatic. It's still nice and soft and lovely looking. All the products that I used in my videos along with the brushes will be listed in the description box below. If you guys want to check out what I use, definitely take a look down there. Please thumbs up this video if you guys did like it don't forget to subscribe and if you guys want to click the little bell up there in the top that way you get notified every single time i upload that'll be awesome without further ado if you guys want to know how i created this look please keep watching hey guys what's up so glad to be back i'm gonna start off my makeup with some moisturizer first i'm using the kate somerville exfoliate moisturizer now, I was having a little trouble with this moisturizer. It has glycolic acid in it, which sort of burns my skin a little bit on the sensitive areas that I have. But it goes away within like a second, so it's not a big deal. Now, I'm going to prime those lips with some Blistex. Nothing fancy. Now I'm going to just prime my face with some Urban Decay Quick Fix Setting Spray. This stuff is good, girl. You need to get you some. Now I'm going to do my brows off camera, just like that. Power of editing, guys. I got it down pack. Now I'm going to prime my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light to medium, and I'm going to buff that out with a simple, plain buffing brush that I got off Amazon with a, a bunch of other brushes that I got. Now I'm going to set that with Makeup Forever Translucent Setting Powder and my e.l.f. tapered brush. Now I'm going to take my Anastasia Subcolger palette with the color Dawn as my transition color and I'm going to use my Sigma E35 brush to blend that out. Now I'm taking Roxy with the same brush just to apply that over Dawn just to make it a little bit more warmer. Now I'm going to blend that all out with my Sigma E Lie MAC 224 brush. Now this part got cut out, but I did just take Man Eater from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and my E25 brush from Sigma, and I applied this color straight into my crease on top of Roxy, just to make it a little bit more like a berry tone. <laughs> To it now I'm just further blending it out with that same e35 brush from Sigma nothing on my brush just blending now I'm going back with my subculture palette and I'm taking all-star with the Sigma e25 brush again and I'm going right on top of man eater from the Huda Beauty palette just to further deepen that crease I'm taking the Sigma e35 brush to blend that color out a little bit because it was going on a little funky now I'm going back and forth between brushes, applying, blending, applying, blending. Voila. Now I'm going in with my Sephora Pro blending brush in the number 27 to further blend out all the edges. Nothing left on it. I'm taking my Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette and I'm taking that frosty white shade in the corner of her palette just to highlight my brow bone. I'm taking her buried color in that palette. I honestly don't know the name of it. I don't even know if they have names. I didn't even look to see. But this color, you guys, is beautiful. That's why I, like, I look like that. Because that color was going on so beautifully to be BH Cosmetics, you guys. It was just so beautiful. I'm applying that shade all over my eye and I'm blending out the edges with that Sigma E25 brush with nothing left on my brush. Now the brush that I'm using to pack on this color is a dual-ended brush from Urban Decay's Naked Heat Palette.
now I'm taking my Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm going to quickly draw a very, very thin line against my lashes just to make the false lashes mend a little better with my actual lashes. And girl, I could not see. Like, I am blind. I wear glasses on an everyday basis, and for me to look in that little ass mirror just to draw this line was hard as hell. Now I'm going to take my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, and I'm going to give my lashes a quick coat before I put my falsies on. Now I'm, I'm applying the Dodo Lashes. I actually forgot the number, but I will list it down below for you guys. But they are Dodo Lashes, which they're amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes, lashes on, girl. We good. Now I'm going on with my primer. I'm taking my Becca Backlight Filter Primer, which this stuff is bomb. Now I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Foundation. Guys, this thing is life. You need to put your hands on one. Try it out. Something. Get a sample, but you guys will not regret it. It's everything. Um, my shade will be listed down below because I honestly don't have that in front of me to tell you guys, but... Um, I'm just applying this all over my face, just like so. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick in the number 355 to contour. This stuff I've been using for like two years to contour, and it's my ride or die. Now I'm taking my Sephora Pro Brush in the number 53 to blend out my contour. Girl, it was hot in my room. Oh my god, I was dying. Now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the number Creamy Beige to highlight my face and conceal those bags. And guys, I forgot to mention, but the sponge that I'm using is from Real Techniques. It's just the basic sponge that they normally sell. Now I'm taking my NARS Laguna Tier bronzer. This was a limited edition bronzer that came out a while ago. I was able to get my hands on it before they discontinued it. I'm just applying this bronzer on the areas that I cream contoured with um, this angled big fluffy brush from the mini collection Sephora came out with a while ago. Now I'm taking my Bahama Mama bronzer and I'm going to further contour my face with um, Kat Von D's dual ended brush with the more tapered side. Now I'm going to contour my nose with the same bronzer and I'm taking a Morphe, forgot the number but I will list it down below but I know for a fact it's Morphe girl. Now to highlight I'm taking my Fenty Beauty highlighter. I will list the name down below, but I'm taking my Anastasia A23 brush. Girl, look at that highlight. Yes. Now I'm taking my Milani powdered brush in the romantic rose color. Pop that on my cheeks real quick. And I'm taking the other side of my Kat Von D dual ended brush. I'm going to zoom you guys in real quick because I'm going to finish off my eyes. I'm going to further tight line my eyes real quick. Make my lash band more, blend in more to my eyes. I'm taking All Star from the Anastasia palette and I'm taking my Sigma. It's like a flat shaded brush. And I'm going to pop that real close to my lash line to define it. Now I'm taking my Morphe M431 brush. And I'm going to take Boss and Man Eater from the Huda Beauty palette. And I'm going to blend out that color. So I was trying to look for the Sigma flat 
the tight line brush and I lost it so now I had to opt out for this brush right here which has no name again it came from Amazon but it's a small angled brush and I just applied a little bit more of all star very close to my lash line and further blend it out now I'm going back in with the Cardi Bible palette and I'm taking that very frosty pink shade for my inner corner highlight now I'm taking my benefit highbrow pencil to line my waterline and a little bit more mascara you guys and now to finish off i'm doing the lips i'm taking this nyx lip liner in earthquake to line my lips and i'm going in with this nars liquid lipstick in the color i don't know because i don't have it in my face but i will list it down below i'm sorry for the harsh stop you guys i will get better at this i promise but this is the final look. If you guys love this video, or not even love, if you like it, let me not, I'm playing myself. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that we won't miss out on further videos. Thank you for watching. Love you guys and see you in my next one. Bye.